Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coon Cassis for IFL TV. We're in Belfast. Shane Fury, excuse my voice. I have lost it. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> First of all, how are you? I'm all right, Coon. Are you? I'm all right. Apart from I lost my voice, I feel all right. Uh, let's talk about water first of all. Uh, impressed today? Uh, listen, Walter's a young man. Um, a long time since his last box amateur. And that, listen, he done well. First fight. Uh, I'm, here, I'm here to support him. Um, and hopefully, he'll, listen, he'll, get, he'll keep busy and so on. But um, you've got to judge people for where everyone's at. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and he done well. So, yeah, we're all right. S supporting him, and as long as he wants to go, we'll, we'll, we'll support him, and that's it. It seems to be like every, I don't know, year or so, another fury comes out. Uh, is there any more coming out over the next 18 months? Listen, what, my cousin Walter, he was, um, he was boxing as a young boy, all right? Um, and boxing, he's had quite a lot of amateur fights along with his other two brothers but he's decided because he's, listen, boxing's on a high at the minute, aren't they? And when you've got connection in boxing, this is under a Frank Warren show there's an opening there in order to go in so boxers, uh, Walter's given it a go and in all fairness he, he, he impressed me tonight and he was, listen, he done well um, but Walter's never boxed for, uh, for quite a while as far as I'm aware and to come in after two, three, four years, not boxing at all, he done well. But yeah, I think there's plenty of furies. Listen, we're all we're off. I don't know we're off. I'm a sausage altogether. But there must be some forms of a fighting connection in the breed of us, and they'll all do a bit of boxing and training and doing what we what it is. So. Um, so there'll be plenty of boxers, but th the next box is what's going to train from young and come up will probably be the nephews and my sons. And uh, and if they get to a stage where they like it and they're good enough, the doors are open with their, with their, um, the links and their, um, I don't know what you call it, but with the, with the, with the know-how, what we've got, and they'll do all right. But only, the, listen, boxing is very, very, very hard. Um, You've got, you've got to be good enough. Then you've got to uh, then you've got to have the art and the guts to do to do what you're good enough to do. And then you've um, you've got to have people around you what knows the job. So it's very hard. But if they're good enough and they want to do it, they'll be all right. The, the next the next team of Furies will probably be in the next will probably be in the next uh, eight to ten year. And I believe they'll be good because the experience what I've got. Which is not a lot because <laughs> it's what it is. But I've been around it now a good long time, and I've been around a lot of world-class trainers, and having to pick bits and bats up. And I'm, I, I understand what I'm looking at, and I'm going to pass it on to my nephews and my sons, and uh, hopefully they've got a bit of natural talent to go with it, and it should be all right. It's encouraging to hear that kind of that next generation, your kids, Tyson's kids, whoever's kids, yeah. of yours, that there is another generation that will carry on your family name in boxing. Do you know, I, I do believe, no matter however many kids and how many generations there is, no one's going to top the Gypsy King. Now, we've all been humbled, obviously, the last, uh, the last fight. Um, but I don't think no one's going to um, top Tyson. But I, when things set in, and you realise what you've done and so on. And everything, for I don't know the, the exact uh, words for it, for the stars to align, I think the clever word is with it, it's for him to, for him to have the ability he's got, the, bo the boxing ability what he's got, um, the heart, I don't think there's, I don't think there's been, there's, I don't think there's been an elite boxer with the heart what Tyson's got. But probably is, probably is. I'm talking daft. There's lot, been lots of like lower level fighters with the same ability, the same heart, and the same will to get up and try and win. But 
the ability don't match up with that. It's very, for everything to align differently, it's, um, it's very rare. So I don't think there's going to be another Tyson. And if there is, if there's half a Tyson, we'll do all right. But uh, yeah, we'll do all right. We'll see. Listen, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, the normal interview, waffling on. It is what That's it is. That's right. Listen, Get to the point. People on, like you. Big cheese. People Let's people go like you. Shane, I haven't seen you obviously since um, that night in Saudi Arabia. I've got to ask, first of all, obviously, I know we watched Tyson do an interview on the, his Fur Furiosity channel the other day. First time I've heard him speak. But behind the scenes, how is he? In general, how is he? Diabolical. <laughs> no, listen. I'm, you know, you know I'm only asking that because as a family, you've not suffered. The nearest thing was the draw to Wilder. Uh, yeah. how many and it, years wasn't, ago? it wasn't nearest thing. The nearest thing to this was the last fight he had before this, because we were certain and we were comfortable that we beat Wilder, and so was 98% of the world. Right, so that wasn't the nearest thing, and the last time he won quite clearly before this, but he was supposed to win a lot better, if that makes sense. It was supposed to be like go in and blow him out, but then it was a close fight. But it, it, for me, he won quite clearly. This fight. Uh, on the night, I generally, generally, 41. And when he got in the ring, I was, oh, I was talking to Usyk, like, well done, Usyk, you're a brilliant man, and next time it'll be better, because he had a rematch, and so on. And then I was generally shocked when he gave it. I knew before, before the verdict come out. Um, and I thought, well, well, that was, it was, I thought Tyson won. But watching it back, I thought Usyk won. I watched it back, and... Usek, uh, he, he won the fight, in my opinion. Like, I watched it back in a 41, um, very close. But the rounds that Tyson won, Tyson won big time and hurt him and so on. And the rounds that Usek won, barring the rounds what he got, he got hurt him, before, before, round, before round nine, you could, have, you could have give Tyson big rounds and so on, and then um, big rounds and then... Uh, you give Usyk, either, he might have nicked a couple of rounds here and there, but the damage was done. And then the, the eighth round, he got punched on the nose and it disorientated him and uh, he lost focus and then got caught, caught his heavyweight boxer. His heavyweight boxer and sh listen, it happens. But. Shane, Tyson still believes, obviously I'm going off the back of that interview he done, he believes that he won that fight still, doesn't he? Listen, it, it was a close fight. It was a close fight. Yeah. Either way, either way, it was a close fight. Whatever, if you're a hater of him, if you love him, it was a close fight. It could have went either way. So the thing is, Usyk got the, the nod on the night, and it makes no difference. If we would have got the nod, we would have been talking like this, yeah, brilliant fight, undisputed champion. But he never got the nod. Uh, and like I say, listen, it's what it is. Then rounds, what could have went either way? I was being very critical when I um, when I uh, scored it on the telly, and I and I, I it, was, it could have went either way. Then on the night, I was definitely certain that Tyson won, but scoring it, being critical on Tyson, I give it Usyk. But it could have went either way. When I give it, in your opinion, what does he have to do on December twenty first to make sure he's already made comments that he doesn't want to leave it to a decision? But what does he have to do, in your opinion, to make sure that he puts that right? Listen, I'm not going to come in here and uh, tell a game plan, what we've got to do, what we're not got to do. You don't have to be a... You don't have to be a, um, a super knowledgeable man on boxing to realise what you've got to do, all right? But knowing what you've got to do and doing what you've got to do is two different things. Um, so we know what we've got to do, but doing it's two different kettles of things, two, little, two different um, stories, you know. So we're going to do what we can do and do the best we can. And the attitudes and the, and the mentality, and I don't know the right words for it, has totally changed because I deeply thought, before the fight, I thought that it was generally... I thought it was going to be a Tyson win and, and, and just a regular thing, but it obviously wasn't, and we've got to just try and come back and do the best we can. And I think with the right instructions and the right prep, 
I think Tyson can do it. But by no by by no means it's going to be easy, and it's number one and two in the world. What's fighting? You know, um, and hopefully he can get the win. And win, lose or draw, I'm going to say here: win, lose or draw. If he stops him in a round and looks excellent doing it, or stops him in six rounds and looks excellent doing it, or loses or draws on an excellent fight. Well, me, as a brother, I wanted to see, see you later with the boxing, because there's only so much you can do. You know, At the minute, if, God willing, if he has this good fight and he comes out and both men shake hands and both men leave healthy and strong, he can actually spend the money he's earned and look back at the career, what he's done, and think, wow, there's not many people, or if any, when you look at the stats and, and what's, what, what's, what's happened, done what he's done, he can, he can appreciate that. But you go on for too long. I was at the, um, this dinner show, what do you call it? With all, the, with all the stars the other day. The Nganu show and fucking the, the dinner before. There was every world champion there for the last 25 years, 30 years. And they look, there was older men, but they was absolutely crippled up, punch drunk. And no matter if you had 370 billion, it would be no good to you if you can't enjoy it with your family. So listen, this is all fetching back memories with me. Um, we'll, we'll put it behind us because it's not even started talking about boxing yet. But uh, it only matters when you're in this circle. I've come to watch my cousin Walter box first fight on the, uh, on the card and I'm doing an interview with you to fetch all these terrible memories back. So yeah. You asked me one question now. Oh, the oh, second oh, no. question, come on. Shane, last question. Joe Cooper's just about to come on, which we're both going to come and watch. Last question. There was a lot made about too many voices yes. in the corner. 100% agree. Right, so what was your take on that, on the night? My, my take is, my take is, deeply, truly, honest opinion, is my dad wants the best three sons. Okay, and the best three sons after he's been put down and nearly not called out is to get him through the fight, fuck the boxing. You can be KO'd and not wake up. Yeah, that's his mentality because he wants the best three sons. Okay, but sometimes when you want the best for someone, you, it's not the best instructions. Do you know when you're saying move, move, move? Yo, listen, travelers have a, have a language what, uh, what non travelers don't understand. Okay and you'll not know what was getting said in the corner, but what was getting said in the corner was, <laughs> don't be an idiot, get moving and so on. Whatever it was, whatever you were saying, yeah. But that's me dad, my dad's mentality to, to, get him, to get him through the fight so he can, so he can get through the fight and, uh, 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 safe. But them instructions, sometimes not what you need. Now, a strange person, Okay, like Sugar Hill, for an example, or any other trainer. Uh, you're a piece of meat. Now, now this is not going to Sugar or, or any other trainer. A fight is a piece of meat to a trainer or promoters or anything because when they're finished, they get another one and they go on with that and so on, all right? But what the trainers do, if you want to win a fight, the trainers will give you the right instructions to go on I do that, but in the meantime, you might get flattened on your back doing it. But they're the instructions what you need to win the fight. Does that make sense? Yes. Do you know what I mean? Like, when you're emotionally involved with something and you don't want something to happen, you might have a different opinion on it. Makes something. perfect sense. Do you understand? Yeah. But when, when someone's a piece of meat to someone, I'm not saying, not, not saying that because Sugar's my friend and he's even Tyson's closer friend. I'm not on about Sugar, I'm just, I'm just on about. Uh, like trainers point of view I can tell you to get through that fire you've got to walk through it mate you've got to burn every inch of your skin but to get to the end you've got to, you've got to do that but if someone's, someone's emotionally attached to you don't go through the fire stay here with me stay here you're not going to get burnt it's you're a different burnt. mentality it's a different yeah. mentality and that's not what you need in boxing but it is what it is the instructions is clear next time Sometimes I take take. Um, sometimes I take my knowledge for for boxing. Now I'm not going to give it the big big end, yeah, because I couldn't train anyone else, and I wouldn't train Tyson obviously because I'm not. A, what I am 
for Tyson is I can look at the fighter and I can tell him what that fighter needs or how you need to beat him and so on. And it's clear in my mind what needs to take place. Dead, deadly clear. So if he listens, if he, um, if he listens and... Uh, not if he listens, he knows, he knows, he's spoke to me about it, and he'll do it next time. Confident on it, but we was confident last time, so who knows? Well, look, December 21st, we shall find out, and listen, I'll say, listen, we hope Tyson obviously can pull it off. I don't know. Me and you and his family and probably uh, some fans, what's out of it, what's generally, um, generally are proper fans and, and, and want the best of someone, they want him to do it, and we do. But the people with her, um, I'm going to be honest with you, yeah. Every time I've got nothing against Joshua, yeah. I don't know the man. I don't know the fella. Hold on. I don't know. I don't. I don't know Joshua at all. All right. And and and, and I look. I look at his interviews and look at him. And all I can see, looking at him, is a stand-up, a genuine fella. Genuine. That's what. I look, that's what I say. Generally, if it, and if it wasn't for Tyson, I'd be I'd be going to see him and supporting him and so on, because that's what I see—a stand-up man. But generally, every time he boxes, for some reason, no matter who, who he boxes, I want him to lose. All right, because that's that's the that's the, um, the that's the little tie with Tyson. I want him to lose so it makes Tyson look better. Or I want him to lose because they've had a bit. Does that make sense? It makes sense. But. I'm look, I look at his videos and I look at him and he's a stand-up man. Family man, he looks after his family, a stand-up fella, and actually can fight, and a genuine man. But if he was fighting a Polish journeyman, I'd want him to get knocked out on the night. Do you understand? And that's terrible, isn't it? But that's the thing with pundits and boxing people and that. They don't want anyone to outshine anyone. Do you know what I mean? So that's, that's the thing. But I'm, on an, I, I'm honest enough to say that and that but these people make a living off of, off of, um, off of trying to diss someone and, and slag someone and do what they need to do for that but it's not the genuine reasons the genuine reason is if he carries on going or oh, oh, well he's, he's, he's surpassed me anyway but if I slag him enough it'll come down do you know what I mean we get, we get what you're saying I, I want to know does the pundits or the pundits does the people who's listening understand me because I am, you watch me interviews, I'm definitely not the cleverest person in the world, especially with put me point across, but if anyone understands me, let us know in the comment section, because I check everyone. So, Fury, thank you very much, Super Twilight Film TV, and listen, we'll definitely speak to you ahead of December 21st, and uh, God bless you, my friend. God bless you. <laughs> no, listen, uh, it'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. I like you've heard my opinion on it all. Uh, and that's pretty much about it, that's all. Right, write your thoughts in the comments. Shane Fury, thank you very much. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.